Hey all my fantastic numismatic artistic friends, it's Master Temple here. Everybody doing good? Happy days. Right, what I've got to show you today is some big old coins, some crowns, some five quid coins. It's funny because I've got 20 coins to show you, and some of them say five shillings on, some of them say, say, five pounds on, some of them say 25p on, and a few say 50 pence on, and then there's some that I, that I don't say anything on. So it, it's kind of crazy. We've got them from obviously the UK, and then we've got some from a few from the territories, which is quite good. But before we get onto any of that, I just want to remind you all that I've got a competition up and running, and it ends on Monday the 25th. It's my 750 subscriber giveaway. You can win a boatload of stuff, including one of these coins that I'm going to show you today. And there's a painting in there, and a puddle duck, and, and a wrestling, and some other bits and pieces. I'm, I'm sure you'll enjoy so go check that out right let's crack on let's crack on the first coin right so the first the first one up we've got a big stack here the first one up you've probably seen this before on the channel it's the one where i sang sang <laughs> it's the one where i uh, recited my poem that i did to saint george because it's got saint george and the dragon on there and this is the uh, uh, the Festival of Britain coin from 1951, the, the crown. It's got some Latin stuff on outside, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat that. You'll have to go see that video if you want to, uh, if you want to have a look at that. Let me say that it says five shillings down there, which is the equivalent of a crown. The mintage on this is 1.9 million, which is pretty nice. Now let's find a home for him. Right up in the corner, out of shot, almost out of shot. And the next one I've got. A few years later, this is um, come back. This is another one that says five shillings on. This is from 1953, uh, and it's one of the Queen's first crowns, if not the first. There's 5.9 million of these on there, which is very nice. And again, there's another edge inscription, which basically says, "Faith." and truth I will bear unto you which is one of the one of the Queen's mottos perfect right so we'll get you up there gotta squeeze them all on somehow right the next one we've everyone's seen before 1965 it's the Churchill the death of Winston Churchill commemorative crown again it doesn't say crown on there we all know what it is and there's 19.6 million of these which is which is eye-watering we'll pop you there now the next one we have we've got now the second portrait so we're moving into decimalization territory so that's the first portrait with the with the wreath around her head around the queen's head looking very young then a little bit more regal up here with the tiara on a bonce and this is the uh, Elizabeth and Philip silver wedding crown from 1972 and this one has 7.4 million on that one of the standard copper nickel you know standard circulating non-circulating you know what I'm saying base metal, copper nickel because they do silver in these and some of them I'm waffling on now <laughs> like a gibbering wreck right, we've seen this one before many times this is this is probably one of the most commonest ones you'll see it's the Silver Jubilee from 1977 and again, very similar to the, to the coronation one Queen Lizzie's uh, riding her favourite steed there 1977 and this one has 37 million on that that's staggering isn't it 37 million of that so next one it's another another nice one this one is quite sharp as well I don't know if it's sharp because it's been battered about or is it sharp because it's it's um, it's not been been around the block but this one's from 1980 and this is the Queen Mother's 80th birthday. It's very nice. I think I picked this up for a quid. And it's uh, 9.3 million on that one. Which is 
pretty cool. And last of these big, big crowns. Can you guess which this one is? If you can, leave me a comment now. <laughs> you guessed it. It's the marriage of Lady Diana and Prince Charles. Their commemorative crown for their wedding. 26.7 million of these. I must have about eight. Those ones. So there's the crowns. Right, let's get on to the five pound coins. I'll just reach across here and get this nice big handful of five pound coins. Now this is not my complete set. I've got some that are in bunk packs, which I may show you on another time. And I've got some that uh, my children own and they're in little toys. And uh, I did a video on that once. I might get them out again and show you. If you want, go back and check that, that video. Shake, Crattle and Roll, I think they call it. Where the five pound coins are, are encased in, in um, silver plated rattles and dummies and things. Right, so let's pop these down so I can show you properly. There we go. So a five pound coin. Third portrait now, so we're, we're progressing. So we've got the second portrait. And we've got the... Not on that one, we haven't. First portrait. There. Third portrait. And we've got the, uh, the Queen Mother's 90th birthday. From 1990. There's 2.7 million of these. And it's a five pound coin. And you never guess how much I paid for this. Three quid. Three quid. It were in with a pile of, you know, Churchill and Charlie and Diana coins. <laughs> Good stuff. Three quid. Right. Next up, another five pound coin. And this one is from 1993. And it's the 40th anniversary of the coronation. Nice little crown there and all these trumpets that surround it. It's a little bit toned, but again, on this it says, Faith and truth I will bear unto you, which is just the same as the coronation crown, the five shilling. 1.8 million of these. And the next one I've got, and this one cost me a fiver. Sometimes I get paid into the post office or a bank or wherever you go. And this, this one here is the golden wedding anniversary from 1997. It's a little bit battered, not much, just a bit grubby, I think. Got some, come back, it's got some nice shields here and, and crests. Crown up there and a little anchor. Remember Prince Philip, who was a naval officer for, for a long, long time. I think this is the Duke of Edinburgh's crest, and obviously the monarch's crest there. The mintage on these, 1.7 million very nice very nice now moving forward to 1999 got two from 1999 it's a bit scratched this one and I think these were still in circulation right up until 2002 I believe I could be wrong there but you could still go get these in circulation and this one commemorates the memory of Princess Diana the Princess of Wales who sadly passed away a few years earlier than this coin 1997. Again, it's a £5 coin. Quite a neat one to have. 4.9 million on the Diana Memorial coin. And then one that is very special to me. And I'll tell you why this one's very special. My grandfather gave me this when he wanted me to start coin collecting. When this first came out, I was on a young whippersnapper and I didn't think, didn't think coins were for collecting back then. I thought they were for spending. But it's, uh, it's a millennium coin from 1999 to 2000. It celebrates the millennium. And on this 1999 one, see it's got a date there, you can get a 2000 one. On this 1999 one, there's 3.7 million. And there is a special strike your own one, which was done at the Millennium Dome. It's got a little privy mark somewhere on, on this. This orange peely bobbly effect there. If you find one of them, you're, you're quids in. You're quids.
we did. Next up, we've got this beautiful portrait of the monarch. Just the portrait and it says five pound. And on this side, 2002, come back. 2002, and this is the golden jubilee. Once again, the picture dictates, uh, the picture shows the monarch riding a horse, like she's done on one or two others. Beautiful coin and mintage on that 1.1 million. Then one of my favourites, now I had to get this one, like I had to get that one, I, well, say get it. You can get them all the time from the post office if you ask if anything odd, odd or unusual has been paid in. And uh, I got this one as well. It's in pretty neat condition, this one. And it's the Battle of Trafalgar. And this one is from 2005. Very neat. This one and this one are in the, the kiddies rattles that I've got. Now the mintage figure on this one is it's it says in my nose like half a million. But if you look elsewhere you can't find it. Some some of the sources have said hundred thousand. I don't know. Let me know if you know the mintage figure of this this one coin. The Trafalgar and look at the boat on there, the two boats engaging in battle Nelson's Battle of Trafalgar famous victory now the last five pound coin I've got look at the shine on this one it's from 2020 and I broke it out of its blue cardboard plastic prison and I'm mucking it already look come back can't focus on it it's that shiny look at that give it a scuff but it's one from last year it's the it's the George the Third coin. What a wonderful coin. I just had to get it out just to put it in my set. I've got one in the year set. I thought this one's a bit condensation on it, you see. No mintage figures just yet for that one. Right, so they're the five pounds and the crowns. Let's get on to the, some of the territory stuff. And then the last one will be a fake. Right, so territories wise, we've got all these lot here. And they're the same size, but just say different things on them. Okay, made out of the same stuff, Cooper Nickel. Now this one is um, from St. Eleanor. It says 50 pence on there, where we've got five shillings and we've got five pounds. But this one's from St. Eleanor. It's in absolutely stunning condition. And this one is the uh, the Royal Visit. That happened in April 1984 from the Grand Old Duke of York, Prince Andrew. Was he the Duke of York back there? Did he get the Duke of York when he got married? Was this prior to him getting married? I don't know. No historian. I should have, should have looked that one up. Again, it's got a bit of, bit of toning on. But it's very nice. Same weight, size, diameter, everything as, as the other coins. Just says 25 pence, 50 pence on that one. Right, next one up. We've got an Isle of Man. We're going back to the second portrait. And this one is uh, again for the silver jubilee. We've got the crowns there, and we've got the, uh, the Triskelion in the middle. Some floral designs. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful crown. So it says one crown on this one, not fifty pence or twenty-five pence or five, five pound. Nineteen seventy-seven, and I can't find any mintage figures on that. So again, if someone else wants to enlighten me. Please do so. Let's straighten all these up. The bug in me. Right, there we go. Come back down here, you and you and you. Right, final few. This one is from Guernsey, I think, from 1977 again. Second portrait, and this is the aerial view of Castle Carnet. Again, it was, uh, I think there was a set of these from the different Channel Isles and, and Jersey and. Um, Gibraltar, but I could be wrong. All the showing similar aerial views to celebrate the uh, the Jubilee in '77. This one says 25 pence on it. How bizarre! 
Ballywick or Guernsey. Then I've got another one which is an absolute belter. It says 25 pence on it again. Again from Guernsey. Second portrait again. But this one represents the Queen Mother's birthday back in 1980. Grand year, fabulous year. And what we've got there is a mintage figure, because I can't find the mintage figures for a few of these, but the mintage figure for, for this one is uh, 150,000. I think the Andrew one and the Castle Cornet one. I don't have the Andrew one 125,000 and the Castle Cornet one 200,000, 200, I think, 207,000. Could be, I could be miles off, I usually am. Okay, last one. One of my belters. Now this is from 2001. The Bailiwick of Guernsey again. And it is for the Queen's birthday, the 75th birthday of Her Majesty. Look at the shine on that, that must have been bunk when it. It got paid into a bank and I went in, every now and again, pay some bills and I just say, it's oh, unusual been paid in, sometimes. Ah yes, we've got this, Mr. Temple. So, well, I'll have it. I'll have it. It's <laughs> super shiny. Five pound on the bottom. Shows the Queen there with a nice floral arrangement of the flowers of the... ...of the island. Some roses. I think I can see... These are, these are poppies, actually. Poppies. But yeah, the minted figure on that that I found were 14,000, which is staggering. Right, promised you a fake one, didn't I? Last one I've got. <laughs> Look at this. 1887, it feels really light, it's really thin. And it's of it's a, uh, Queen Victoria. But it's a fake. It's a fake all day long. Unless anyone else gives me any other information, I'm saying this is fake. If we pick up another crown, you can see the thickness there. Well, maybe we can. There we can. You can see the thickness there. Just doesn't sound, doesn't sound kosher to me. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Right, that's it. That's the crowns and five quids and 25 p's and 50 p's that are in this big old, big old state. Don't forget, I've got a competition up and running. Don't forget, I've got an Etsy store if you want to go check out some paintings and get them bought. It's completely up to you. But until next time, my fantastic friends, do take care. Let me know your favourite in this lot. Stay safe. Happy days. <laughs>